Well, here's a blast from my DOS gaming past. Indianapolis 500, The Simulation. This one was developed by Papyrus, the same guys that went on to make the uh, the NASCAR games. And I remember in the like sort of mid-90s, those NASCAR games were pretty popular. Uh, they seemed pretty demanding at the time. You needed a really powerful computer to run those games well. This one on the flip side, I think, runs pretty much on anything. Like, this is one, one of those games that I uh, grew up playing on my 286. And the speed that this thing could move around, even on a 286, was, was pretty impressive for the time. And uh, so, yeah, this game was, uh, I think, pretty popular, uh, mainly for, for that reason. A lot of people remember the graphics in this game, again, being pretty impressive. Um, you know, this came out in 1989, and it's very, very fast, very fluid. Again, this game was released in uh, 1989 for DOS. Um, it was also ported to the Amiga in 1990. Uh, I've never seen the Amiga version. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it had more colors on screen. Uh, this game, I think it uses VGA, but for some reason it's, it's certainly not using the 256 color mode. Game at first glance is a pretty typical racing game for the time. You basically have to qualify and, uh, you know, then you can do the race. But there's a lot of uh, options in this game when you're racing as far as damage. Um, you know, with damage on, it's pretty realistic. I mean, one hit and you're out of the race. So you got to be really careful not to hit other cars or hit the wall. Uh, you can also get pretty in-depth with the, uh, the setup of the car, though. You can change you know, like tires and um, some of the aero uh, spoilers and and set the, the downforce. It actually gets pretty in-depth. Again, for a, a game from 1989, I guess they were right in calling it a simulator. It was pretty advanced com compared to most racing games at the time. And again, these guys went on to do the NASCAR games, which got really popular. They did a sequel to this game, uh, which I've never seen. Again, this is just one of those games that I had growing up. Uh, it was a copied floppy. I, I don't even remember where it came from. Um, I don't remember who, who gave it to me. Um, but, yeah. I, I remember in uh, in grade school, I had a friend. Not really a friend, I should say. <laughs> I had a classmate. He, he wasn't really a gamer. He wasn't into computers. He probably thought it was nerdy if you were into computers and computer games. But he was into cars and he was into racing. And I remember I brought him over one day uh, to play this game and he was amazed. Uh, he was loving this game. So and maybe I got him into computer gaming after all. Um, yeah, it's just one of those games. Once you saw it, it was pretty impressive for its time. And, you know, again, for a car racing sim, it's, it's pretty good. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I don't have a lot to say about this game. Um, there's not much to see, but it's certainly a good looking game, uh, controls really well, it's super fast, and it's a fun game. Definitely one I played a lot back in the day on my 286. Well, anyways, that's it. Definitely a great game. I think a lot of people uh, who grew up with DOS uh, computers in the early 90s remember this game. Uh, it's, not, it's not too uncommon or anything. But definitely worth checking out if you haven't.